Here are three things that I did in order to help define my midsection. So number one, intermittent fasting. I started intermittent fasting about a year and a half ago at this point. I stopped eating um, past 6 p.m. is the latest, depending upon what's going on. If I can sleep later, then I'll move that window a little bit later. But for the most part, I'm eating like 4.35 p.m., my last meal. And then I don't eat again until the morning. Number one, what helped me with more definition in my abs, intermittent fasting for sure. I used to sit there with bowls of cereal at night, right before bed. <laughs> I taught a gazillion fitness classes, right? I worked out so hard, I'm gonna eat a bunch of bowls of cereal, free cereal, and wonder why I never had abs, right? Number two, scaling back on the crazy cardio, long cardio, hours of steady state cardio, and I still do cardio. I want my heart healthy. I do a lot of hit cardio. I do way more strength training, things like Pilates, bar, yoga, things that are core focused, but also very centering. The bonus of doing workouts like that is you actually feel more grounded and more centered, less hungry, less agitated, less likely to stress eat. Okay. Which was a big thing for me. I was always like in the bag of snacks. Number one, intermittent fasting. Number two, prioritizing more strength training, Pilates, yoga, bar, things that focus on strengthening core posture, but also mindfulness. The third thing is kind of overarching thing that I do, which is I prioritize things like meditation, like restorative yoga, like before bed, I prioritize stress relieving modalities, not going to snacking as a way to self soothe. So ask yourself this question. When you get stressed out, you have a stressful day. What is your go-to? Like, what do you do? What is the thing you reach for? For me, it used to be like a diet Coke and a bag of pretzels, right? Like, let me up and like munch on something. <laughs> you know what that did for me? It packed on the pounds and it made me more hungry. Okay. I don't do that today. Here's what I do. If I have a really stressful day, guess where I'm going to be later that day in a restorative yoga class. That's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be doing some deep breathing. I'm taking really, really good care of myself. De-escalating that high stress. So it's really about how you handle stress. That's, that's what made the difference for me. Now, that was kind of a long answer to your question, but your question was, how did you get abs? <laughs> and it's a combination of those three things. So intermittent fasting, prioritizing strength training, Pilates, uh, bar, it's really incorporating um, a self-soothing menu for myself that does not include snacking. I hope that helps. There's no magical exercise that's going to get you abs. There isn't. So you can go on YouTube and this, this exercise will give you a, a six pack. No, <laughs> no, they're lying to you. Okay. It's not about that. You have to train your core. Yes, but you have to do the work in the kitchen. Abs are made in the kitchen is one of the truest truths that was ever true.